as one looks at the natural growth of a company, uh, there are several stages that uh, all companies go through or all new product lines go through. And as you look at these natural cycles, there are opportunities for investment that are driven by the business needs. Either uh, sunk costs that are required or uh, new discovery that is needed in order to overcome uh, the difficulties that are being faced in those cycles. And since these cycles repeat, uh, identifying methods of solutions for each of the plateaus in those cycles, I think, becomes quite important. Let's just take a moment and look at a cycle of a startup business. Uh, if, if we look at time and dollars, uh, with the x-axis being zero dollars. Uh, a typical cycle is that we go through a research or a development stage. And during that stage, time is money. And so, you get a sunk cost associated with the development of a product or service. Uh, assuming that the idea is there, the idea is good, uh, and we'll come back to the marketing aspect of it, but an entrepreneur sees a need in a market and identifies a solution, and they begin to develop that solution. And we accept that those sunk costs are dollars. Research and development does not generate one dime of revenue. That requires sales. And most entrepreneurs figure once I have the product, then I'll sell it and money will flow. And it never happens. Because they fail to real realize that within the marketing sales cycle, it is identical to the engineering development cycle. That is, there have to be additional sunk costs associated with the market research, hiring of the sales organization, and then sales begin. And only then do you start beginning to see a change of the slope of the cost curve. And once the company has broken even, you're at the bottom of the trough, and now you're looking at how you generate revenue for survival. Typically, we look at that same picture from a different view if these are sunk dollars, either by investment or by the entrepreneur, we then look at a period of time of the sales growth. And that slope of that recovery curve is a function of the depth of penetration, the effect effectiveness of the methodology. The truth is, as you look at a lot of startups and how they begin their sales process, it begins very flat. And in fact, once we reach that point, you look at it, and if they have a methodology, you're willing to start putting money into it and hence try to change the slope of that curve into something more pronounced. Most companies have a reasonable or a good technical base, should. 
They have sufficient business savvy to run, but the missing element is an understanding of marketing and sales. And whether you're at this stage of the business or at this stage of the business trying to change the slope of the curve, time in a way is the enemy. Many of the companies that we're invested in uh, have felt that instead of investing in trying to identify a method, uh, we will conserve our cash and hope that what we're doing will work. And the problem with that is that over a period of time, they are consuming dollars one way or the other, and more importantly, losing time. So time and money uh, lost are a critical part of the equation. As Alan and I struggled with this dilemma, we've identified uh, RPM as a company whom we feel is able to change both the slope of the curve and the time associated with it. So if one looks at, at this point in time, and if one engages an RPM, it may not change the slope of that sunk cost initially. But what happens because of the approach and the experience in the approach, they are able to identify methods quicker, so they shorten the time of discovery, as well as the time of implementation. And so what happens is that that curve relative to time occurs sooner than later. Looking at that in another way is if I have that curve and we apply an RPM to it, that curve relative to the normal occurs more quickly. And so at a given time, I'm ahead of the time curve, and at the dollars expended to break even, I'm ahead of the sunk cost curve. The difference that one has to accept that research, market research costs and implementation costs and takes time. Therefore, accepting a level of cost, accepting the acceleration of time is then statistically going to end in fewer dollars expended and earlier revenues achieved. 